Okay. I'm back downtown. I'm still mad as fuck about my keys. And I have both spares. I, um, there was a guy on a motorcycle. So, it was an agent, okay? He shows up with this identity. The motherfucker, when it passed by, they made sure that they attacked my nervous system. So, when he passed by, he revved his motor. And when he revved his motor, they made sure that I felt the vibrations of the motor run throughout my body. Right? That's the first indicator that, you know, he was on some trash. And he was about to try to act like he was doing something that he can't do. So, he goes down here. And he sits down there by where that car is that's parked. Hold up. Okay, so you see, like, right there, there's a parked car close by where that um, guy is pulling out. So, the motherfucker goes, he turns off everything, and he sits there for a little bit. And um, I'm not paying him any attention because I'm turning, like, the opposite direction. Well, I'm turned this way that I'm looking out. Not paying him any attention. Cussing the government the fuck out, okay? Like, going all the motherfucking way in. As I always do. Going the fuck off on the devil. This motherfucker starts playing this song out of nowhere. Bitch, I took that shit. Come sit, come, come and get me back in blood. Yeah, you something, something. It's mad, but come and get me back in blood. Something, something. I took it from you. Come and get me back in blood. So Y'all might know what that song is. I don't. And then he starts his motor. When the bitch pull off, he come back this way. But he ain't playing that song no more. So it was an agent that was trying to antagonize the situation. So not only did he know I had my pistol on me, but like I said, the agent was trying to antagonize me. They were just talking about how they wanted me to kill outside of Upland Avenue. They don't want me to kill in the neighborhood. The neighborhood is where all this shit is taken. That's the root of all the problems that I'm having. And they said that when I left for the first time today with my pistol. This is the first time that my pistol's ever left my, left my apartment. That an object that they were trying to account for and claim is theirs, no different than the situation when I had that cash on hand. You know, they couldn't explain it. So now they were claiming that they moved. Kelly Bunt's car is near as my door and not her boyfriend Steve. They were trying to disassociate themselves and pretend that they were living somewhere else. By fucking me over. This is all the shit that the government does. I had an issue with my key on February 14th. They stole it. I had an issue in April. When my... Was that the... It might have been the end of March. It was the end of March. Were they locked me out of my... I'm just saying... It's May. Three times already this motherfucking year that I stole my key. Twice. Once I was locked out. And then on top of that, let's say they get returned, okay? Like I said, it's about the principle. Ain't no motherfucking body got no business touching or coming in contact with nothing that's mine. It got my energy all over. They don't hit nobody's hand but mine. And then they still pulling these motherfucking parallel reality ass stunts. So they acting like everybody else is touching them like the hobo. The motherfucking elders, the female elders, when I rung the bell to get off at that stop, they were mad as fuck. They were, their only intent, their only intention on being on the bus, I the only reason they were on that motherfucking bus was to sabotage me, okay? And when I run that bill to get off and they ride all the way to the motherfucking transit, they got mad. They all started looking around like, and I'm sitting, let's say I'm right there. It's one in front of me, and it's one right here in this second seat, and then there's another, like, up in that seat. They all get the, like, why is she getting off the bus? They were informed differently, under a different impression. And so now all of them are like, we gotta get out of the situation. And they take something from me. I don't got no motherfucking body to let me in my place, okay? I live alone. Can't nobody let me in my motherfucking door but me. That's 
a fucking problem. And they'll do shit. I don't got no motherfucking way around or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, they be sending me all out my motherfucking way lying about where I am. Just inconveniencing the fuck out of me while they attacking me with silence. This shit so happens to be a day I can go. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I'm going. Most of the motherfucking time, my head and back. The whole fucking day. While I'm in motion. They attacked me, tearing me the fuck up. They was tearing me up at the library earlier. Anyhow, I didn't have a driver. They said no. They didn't have it. She told me, she said, she told me what I already knew. I can call in tomorrow and see. But like I said, it has nobody, no business hitting anyone's hand. And every time you, they're taking my shit with magic. I can't even express, they won't even allow me to convey how motherfucking angry. I can put all this anger into motherfucking words and they won't allow me to. They're blocking my motherfucking thoughts with remote neural monitor. Trying to monitor how, monitor how much I say. What if I didn't leave myself a way in? So I gotta go ask somebody else to sabotage me, to borrow their motherfucking ladder, to climb in my motherfucking window. And ultimately, like, not even, you know what I'm saying? Like, what if I didn't have a replacement key? I'm mad that this driver even gotta witness me. I know, you know what I'm saying? He might be picking up on a little bit of it at the front of the bus, but I'm mad that he even gotta witness me. That's how mad I am about this situation that I'm talking about. I'm living, okay? Mad is an understatement. 